NIA B Tech Sport Level 2, Unit 3. This is learning aim B.2, the cardio respiratory system. In this video, we're going to be looking at the structure of the cardiovascular system. Now, the cardiovascular system, also referred to as the circulatory system, consists of the heart, blood vessels, and blood. It forms the major transport system in your body, which carries food, oxygen, and all other essential products to tissue cells and takes waste products and carbon dioxide away. Oxygen is transported from the lungs to the body tissues, while carbon dioxide is carried from the cells to the lungs. We're gonna start by looking at the structure of the heart. As you can see, we've got a diagram here um, for us to be able to label. Now, first of all, you can see that we've got a key here which shows oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood. And you can see this is color coded within our diagram as well. So anything that's blue is deoxygenated blood coming into the heart or coming out of the heart. Anything that's red is oxygenated blood. So to start off with, oxygenated blood will come into the heart from the lungs. So we'll just put these in. So these come in through the pulmonary veins. So typically, Veins will always take blood to the heart, where arteries take blood away from the heart. Now, these veins here are the only two veins that actually have oxygenated blood because they come directly from the lungs. When this oxygenated blood comes into the body, it comes into the left atrium, as you can see, is this area just here. So I'm just going to put the left atrium across. This then goes into this section here, which is our left ventricle. From the left ventricle, the blood is then pumped out through the aorta. Now, this blood is then carried through to arteries, then through to capillaries, which takes the oxygenated blood to the working muscles or to muscle tissue. We then have waste products that then come back through the capillaries uh, the deoxygenated blood as well and these then come back through your veins and this is why when you look at your arms you'll be able to see your veins and they're um, a bluey potentially a little bit of a green type color um, mainly blue like color just um, because they don't have any um, oxygenated blood and these veins then come back to the heart and will come back through the vena cava which is this just here so we'll add that across here. So we have our vena cava. This deoxygenated blood then goes into the right atrium, which then follows through from the right atrium into the right ventricle. And then from the right ventricle, it then gets pumped out through our pulmonary arteries. This is then taken back to our lungs so that our lungs can then um, remove those waste products like carbon dioxide and then we begin the process again where then the, we have diffusion that takes place which we can talk about in our next video looking at the respiratory system which then takes the oxygenated blood back through to the body um, through the pulmonary veins.